Hey Earth Ascendants, oh my god, it's a tongue twister. Hey Earth Ascendants, my name is Bora. I'm on Peace Dealer channel to do your esoteric astrology reading. The reason why I'm focusing on that is because it's a very, very valuable aspect of your chart that helps with your ascension if you focus on the higher qualities. So let me get into your energy for November. As I'm tuning into your energy, it's like super calm, super grounded, super calm. So good for you. That's the goal. for the reason why i shake my hand like that a lot of you are going to be um refining your hand chakra so that will give you uh like a midas touch or extra healing powers on your hands but some of you have really deep-seated trauma around your hand chakras and the powers of your hand chakra because of there there's a lot of energy emanating from that a lot of you might have um past lives where you had your hands chopped off or burnt off or something like this for having healing powers on your hands and if you find yourself like really picking on your cuticles or biting your nails you might have never thought about that but for a lot of people it's because they have this um trauma on that physical part of your body so that's relevant for some of you but i i, I see that it's getting really activated that's why my hand was like You know, just so you know, when we're doing tarot readings, it's like a full out holographic package. It's not just with those cards. We're basically like cards are literally just the, the energetic boundary to which I don't have to immerse myself. Immer immerse my entire sensory perception into your energy fields. So, you know, this will help me kind of have my own boundaries, but it still comes through this whole in, in this whole sensory thing sensory perception of your energy. Mental. So mental. What's going on with you, man? I just flipped four cards and they're all swords. So I guess you're thinking a lot, but let me just see what kind of thoughts. But but they're good thoughts. They're like higher mental clarity, basically. Um, let me just. It's so funny. Like I only flipped four cards. They're all swords. The Fool, Princess of Cups, Ace of Wands. Good. You have other elements. Good. But more swords. Your main focus is on higher mental clarity. So using your mental body, a lot of you will benefit from revisiting like the Emerald Tablet and any studies um, regarding hermeticism would be great because you're crystallizing higher mental forms and learning to discern which thoughts of your complex inside of your head is coming from where um it's that level of high discernment because once you know there's a, a, a and this will come with a heightened clear audience ability as well because while you're refining your clear gnosis into a level where you're really discerning your mental kind of patterns um what will happen from your higher self is they're gonna get more tangible with the thoughts so you will have heightened clear audience abilities this month which means that you'll be hearing a lot of the thoughts so my suggestion would be to when you have thoughts try to hear it and they will have different voices and depending on where the thought systems are coming from it'll have different voices it'll have different tones and then you can you can discern if you want to listen to it or not based on where it's coming from for example when you have a thought instead of just registering it blindly 
pay attention to how it sounds. Maybe it's your inner child. Maybe it's your wounded ego. Maybe it's your higher self. Maybe it's not coming from you, but the Illuminati. Like, you know, just try to hear it and then decide or not if you're going to listen to it. That's my biggest suggestion. And if you are going to turn off the video from now, that's fine. Like, that is all I need to say. Well, not it's all. It's all. You can stick around. You can stick around. Um, but what you've basically cultivated is peace with with all of these different thoughts. So, I mean, if I, you know, it is my understanding that every individual is actually a collective consciousness. It's not an individual. Every individual is an individuation of a collective consciousness. So every single person has a different kind of collective. A lot of us have... Uh, same aspects of a collective for example like you have a council and you have a higher self and um you have a council of ascended beings who constantly work with you it could be archangel michael whatever or archangel raphael it could be isis it could be santa kumara it could be melchizedek you have a council of these ascended beings and depending on who the person is you channel different kind of predominant council members and so that's why we're all very individuated, but at the same time, it's of the same density. It's of the, the higher vibration, right? And some some of our um, influences are not coming from that high council. It's coming from lower councils. That's why you have to discern it. But basically, you wouldn't be in this position unless you made peace with all aspects of yourself. So you did make peace with it. You made peace that you have um, a wounded ego that always makes suggestions. Sometimes you listen to it, even if it's not the best thing to do. But what you also have to remember is that other people are like that too. So if you are the type of person who expect other people to be always like solid and always consistent you're not even like that yourself so don't expect the other people to be like that so it's also coming into peaceful acceptance with how other people are complex creatures um and this gives you a new kind of way of perceiving life which is great because it gives you um this power to have this multiple perspectives on life when you do this and it gives you a kind of high rationality in how you navigate through the mental body and definitely create a new reality out of that right um and you will ground it so knight of pentacles basically um is is you actually thinking you know i'm okay with this i'm, I'm okay with this this progress and how it's going to unfold but what you don't know is when you have this kind of infinite patience things really accelerate things materialize quickly and what you're going to get is a divine inspiration on um what to do how to act and how to fulfill your life's missions and that's going to include you kind of walking away from a uh, something that was for a really long time defining your comfort zone so you're going to be leaving something behind whether it's an emotional kind of comfort that you were feeling whether it's a home an environment or just a certain way of being or a certain way of thinking so it's like you're shedding a snake skin basically um and it's it's uh going to bring you a lot of gain like your your detachment to this previous way of being um and being able to transform your perspectives in this multi-faceted way um, quickly comes into fruition in your environment even though you think it's going to take more work it because it's not coming from a place of you wanting something out of the environment but you just literally changing the way you perceive um, you get a very clear kind of fruition in your environment um, So, I mean, you're going to go back and forth with this mental realm with this multifaceted way of thinking. And, and you know that every perspective has its value. That's the beautiful thing. And you're learning to really integrate that into a scientific way. And as a result, you become this, um, you, you develop a part of yourself, like this absolute stoic part of yourself that can observe 
what is going on from a higher perspective, this higher mind. And that's, that's your focus for the month. Okay, so. As a think outside the flock. So when you're perceiving some situations basically and it's making you feel a certain way and you don't resonate with the way you feel basically because it feels doesn't feel like that great. It's because you're thinking about that situation in a way that has been mash conditioned basically like these are not your holistic thoughts that resonate with your higher self that's why it feels off because basically your emotions are a navigational tool to get aligned with your higher self and so when you're in a shitty mood or a, like a sulky state understand that it's the way you're perceiving the situation so kind of just invoke your higher self's mental body to merge with your own and all it takes is that intention you just allow it to happen by remembering when you're feeling low, just invoke your higher self's mental body to merge with yours, and then you will get a higher perspective. And a very tangible exercise that you can do is to actually just tune into your pineal gland, which is in the center of your head. Just like imagine, visualize it activating, like glowing with light. And then, and then basically just. Claim a perspective that is literally a bird's eye view. So if you are thinking of a situation from a human perspective and it's making you feel a certain way, take your perspective high, higher, 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 way above the earth and then watch it play out from a bird's eye view. And then you will automatically download a higher perspective, literally, literally. A lot of you are thinking of visiting a location where there's lots of mountains or volcanoes or I, I encourage that actually so this geographical location will be really beneficial for your your recalibration of your mental body um, this is not a message that I say often actually so for some of you it'll make a lot of sense um, and even if it's not for this month, even if you're planning for December, I encourage you to visit a, a geographical vortex. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a famous vortex, but just a certain vortex. There's going to be um, like elevated, uh, what do you call it? Just an elevated ground, like a mountain or a volcano or something like this. Some kind of energetic base. Fulfilling opportunities are on the horizon. I knew this card is one of the best cards. Whoops. So when you when you just perceive the world in a in a higher perspective, basically what happens is your life just improves. Um, because you're not trying to manifest from things from a forceful perspective. You're basically not even trying to manifest anything, but you're recalibrating the root cause of why things even manifest which is the mental body because you're actually evolving so um there's going to be a lot of fulfilling abundant opportunities that are coming your way just be receptive to it and yeah that's the end of your reading thank you so much for tuning in thank you for your feedback your comment i would really appreciate if you could leave a like or a comment again um i look forward to this month and i look forward to connecting with you again bye